Hey beautiful people, Marcus here. Welcome to another one of my worthwhile obsessions. That's something a little different for you this time, because I figured out what I'm going to be for Halloween. I'm going to turn this dingy piece of tractor in a tube into a big mask. Yeah. Alright, how do I do this? So I think basically I need two pieces of beak and uh, the eyes and forehead. So I kind of like the way these lines go. And take a section here about this length for the beak. So I'll just start by cutting this in two. Fits my head. So I think I can do something with that. Minor adjustments, holes, put goggles there, beak here. On a mark where my eyes are going to be. This is going to give me a rough idea for the placement. I'm going to use some um, rings from the top of mason jar. The tip of my nose. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just drawn my face. I can use one of these for a xenomorph costume at some point. Or Zorro. <laughs> Might be a good idea to wash these things before I keep sticking them on my head. Probably gonna take off this and wear a hat. I haven't quite decided yet though, so I'm leaving this for the moment. <laughs> off to a good start. Approximate shape. Go a little big to start, and I can trim it back if I need. Rubber is so easy to work with. If you want to know about rubber's dark history, check out King Leopold's Ghost on Amazon Prime. Well, that's pretty good. Um, I think I gotta cut more of this back if I want to adjust the angle up a bit. And then I gotta add some support in there. I decided I'm going to use a pop bottle as the support inside the nose. <laughs> it's just simple and easy. And I've cut uh, this rather phallic looking piece to be the underside. So put that in there, this on top, tape it together. Realizing it's easier to do this in front of a mirror versus just the camera. some adjustments here. So this one, the back of it goes quite nicely above my ponytail and the, this one looks like I'll be able to put it nicely below the ponytail and hopefully I should be able to keep this as uh, two separate units and not have to attach them any other way. Then like that. And I'm going to put some buttons back here. So in the back, I marked it off. I put two buttonholes matching the two spots there. And I've just got to figure out the buttons. I think I'm just going to make rubber knots. I'm just going to cut a strip of rubber. Pile of knots, one inch. Oh, yeah, that'll absolutely do it. This way, that's to the trick. Sniff off the 
and put that on that. And this one. Get my hair out of the line. Sweet! That's pretty awesome. Had a bit of a rethink. I know that. I don't like the tape, and it doesn't work for just sticking pieces together. It's really good with plastic and other stuff, but not with rubber. I'm going to stitch it instead, and I found a hole punch that's going to work perfect. So first, I'm going to go around the edges of this, and then I'm going to match it up the edges of that. I need some rubber thread. down to eat and drink so that's awesome. I don't like this top part so I'm gonna cut that off. Alright, I got my eyepieces. These are mason jar lids. Thank you so much for the delivery Laura. And Agent Scully has come to watch. So my hope is it's just gonna stretch over without any modification. Too much of a stretch. certainly alters how it goes over the nose. So let's see how that works with this. I may need to do something about this little gap here. So the solution to the nose not fitting quite right uh, with the eyepieces in is simply to cut another one because I've got lots of rubber using this as a template. Decided I'm going to cut off the bottom of the bottle because it's really not comfortable. Attach it here, and I think I'm going to do 
do something cool and kind of decorative. I'm going to kind of redraw the top of this. I think that's, that's going to make a big difference. Snugly, I don't even need to adhere it any other way. I don't need glue or tape or anything. Got the other eye. Basically from scraps. I'll go over the construction really quickly. So, one piece of rubber, cut the holes, stick in the eye rings, cut the pop bottle, pop that in. Meek, we've got uh, two pieces basically the top that goes all the way around the back, and the bottom, which I've cut. Uh, breathing hole in right there and inside we've got the smaller pop bottle Giving it the support In the back we've got the buttons that go behind the head and Top strap just connects with that There we are Breathing in Scully Yeah. Yeah, see where I'm smiling. Until next time, thanks for tuning in. I hope you find your own worthwhile sessions. Cheers.